What is up blockchain gang? Today we are going to tighten up those bash combo timings to increase our DPS with all classes. And if you are a Taoist that has not switched to the dark side, stick around to the end for a killer finishing combo you won't want to miss. So strap it down and roll a critical strike on that like button because this is going to be short and sweet. Obviously we would like to use our offensive abilities in a manner that will deal the largest amount of damage through a bash combo, which is referred to as your damage ceiling. But the majority of players fail to take into account is to stagger their cooldown timers. They come out of the gate guns blazing with that big dick damage and go limp on the next rotation because they're shooting blanks. This means that they are only going to win if their initial barrage is strong enough to finish off their opponents in an even fight. The easiest way to ensure that your combos are not costing you damage on your next rotation of abilities is to make sure that they are all at least 1.5 seconds apart. If any of these numbers are closer than that together, a few things will happen. Obviously you will want to use abilities as soon as they are available if they are at their damage ceiling. That means any prerequisite conditions are met for you to bash or CC the target to get the most out of each ability. If two abilities come off of cooldown at the same time, you are lowering your raw DPS due to not being able to use two abilities at the same time. Furthermore, when you have to wait to use an ability due to using a different ability, there is a chance that the debuff will be expunged or wear off in that two second window, and you will be doing the damage floor of the ability, or you will need to wait an additional two seconds to reapply the debuff, that is if one is even available. I know this seems like I'm making a big deal out of a few seconds or even a fraction of a second, but that is all the difference between being able to use a new ability that grants immunity or CC protection or being able to dodge without canceling your ability's damage. These seconds can also have cascading effects in really unlucky situations, so get out there and practice those combos until you have all of your abilities coming off of cooldown 1.5 to 2 seconds apart and there is no delay between your combo on your second burst of damage which should be enough to finish off your targets. Now for that killer Taoist finisher, the key is your Reign of Blades ability whose animation can be cancelled out by casting your ultimate stacking the damage. This can be greatly increased by awakening your Moonlight Wave ability so that it causes confusion. To speed up the casting you can Moonlight Wave and then dodge the moment the first strike hits to cancel the ability animation while still debilitating the target. If you dodge too soon the target will not be debilitated. This will cause Reign of Blades to bash and a critical strike has a chance to hurt their attack damage but more importantly their evasion. If Reign of Blades is also awakened to level 8 or above it cannot be evaded and also has a chance to silence the enemy so they can't immune the damage from your ultimate ability that will be immediately cast to cancel out the Reign of Blades animation. The full combo normally takes about 7 seconds but is reduced down to 4.5 seconds with these techniques of which 3 seconds you are immune to all damage. This is a 50% DPS increase in a short burst that can also be combined with a recall scroll to teleport to safety after murdering your targets. Remember that when the Valley of Life and Death arena becomes available, it won't matter what you have spent or what your power score is. Only those skilled in combat, communication, and teamwork will prevail. So you better start practicing now because I'm coming for you pretty boy and hell's coming with me. Did you forget to like and subscribe? You know, so we can do this again sometime. We made horse. It's in the game.